everyone thank you so much for watching this video i know it's been a long time since i posted something on my youtube but i'm so glad you guys are still here watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please try to do so now i'd really appreciate it so in this video i want to talk about something i noticed about how people send messages to organizations or even other people on social media now um the motivation for this video is that i worked as a social media intern for an international organization for about eight months and part of the things i had to do on this job was to respond to dms and comments on the social media pages of this organization and during this time guys like i I learned self-control because some of the messages I saw eh, like if I had my way, if I didn't have a job at stake, like I would have had the most sarcastic responses or I would have just ignored a lot of messages. And it just goes to show that like a lot of people don't know how to communicate on social media. There's social media etiquette and there is a way to say things, there's a way to communicate things. So basically in this video, I just want to, you know, touch on a few things to have in mind when you need to send messages to certain organizations or even people even mentors even like leaders in your industry and stuff like there is a way to speak to them there's a way to compose your messages when you have to do that so that's what i'm going to talk about in this video thank you once again for joining and let's get right into it so the first piece of advice i have for you if you are going to send a message on social media to an organization or a person is that you should sound smart like seriously it's that simple sound smart be smart write smart like don't don't just write something and send it you're not talking to your friend you're not talking to you know some random person this is an organization in the thing is in some cases people are actually asking for job openings or opportunities or things like that and you just see someone say hi can i do you have any job no even if we had a million i wouldn't want to tell you yes like to be quite honest, you have to sound like a smart person. You don't, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, speak all the big grammar and write big words and stuff like that. No, but sound smart. You don't need to write B for B-E. Like, it doesn't take you a second to type the E behind the B. Like, please, eh? Don't sound like someone who doesn't care or like someone who didn't put any thought into the message that they were sending. Use the right words, use the right grammar. Don't don't use abbreviations in that context. You don't need to. So the second thing that you should have in mind when sending messages to organizations or people is that you should be polite. It doesn't cost you anything to be polite. As a matter of fact, it actually takes more stress for you to come and be rude and defensive over nothing. It's more stressful on you and on the person that you're talking to. We're not fighting. Like, guys, and I'm sure you guys are like, wait, why is this one so angry? What's up? But guys, I can't even, like, it got to a point where I actually started taking screenshots of some stuff, but because company policy and stuff, I can't share those messages. But for example, someone will ask a question that's big and you say, okay, could you please, um, you know, elaborate on your question a bit more or be more clear about as to what you're asking. And guys, people will literally go off on you. Like, what's not, what's not clear about my question? I want scholarship. What is the meaning of I want scholarship? <laughs> God. Like, I learned so much self-control on that job. Do you need to understand that as much as, you know, you're talking to, in some cases, organizations or big people, there are also people, it's a human being that is behind the computer or the phone that's responding to you. So you kind of have to understand that you want to appeal to their feelings as well in order for you to get the best out of the conversation you're having with them. Yeah, in sending these social media messages, DMs, comments, whatever they are, please try to be polite. And even if somebody is not being polite to you, like the person on the other side, if they're not being polite to you, there's a way you can call them to order without starting a fight. So yeah, that's the second point. Now here's the third thing to keep in mind. If you're going to send a message to a person or an organization, it's actually better for you not to say hello or hi and leave it there and wait for them to respond and then say your point. No, that's not the way to go about it. The best thing to do is actually to go straight to the point. You came there with something to say, right? So just say, hello, good afternoon. I'd like to inquire about this, this and that. You can't just say hello and expect the person to come and say, oh, hi. A lot of people who handle this account are super busy. Like, 
I can't even begin to count the amount of things I had to do on this job aside responding to DM so much so that I sometimes would you know have to go back like three days I'll have a three-day backlog of DMs or comments that we haven't responded to because we are so so busy imagine if someone had to respond to that many DMs or that many messages and they're saying hello hi trust me you're not the first person they're trying to respond to in that case there are other people who have come forth with you know their requests or their questions and those ones are easier to respond to because you can now take it off your to-do list that oh i actually helped someone out in the dms or on social media today as opposed to saying hi to someone who you're not even sure would respond so please it's better for you to actually say hello good afternoon this is what i want to know or this is why i'm here some people actually you know would respond to dms like based on how important they can sense that the messages are so if you're saying hello or hi what if you just wanted to say hi like the person could actually think that oh this person just wanted to say hi and not be down for that so yeah it's better to just go straight to your point and you know get that over with so that when the person eventually sees your message they actually have something to say to you as opposed to just being feeling like someone greeted them or you know stuff like that so yeah that's the third point now let's talk about the fourth thing that i noticed and that you should have in mind do some research before you send a message to an organization or a person especially when it comes to issues like you're trying to get a job you're trying to get a scholarship you're trying to get mentorship or stuff like that it's better you actually do some research on your own first fine i understand that a communications team is actually there you know to respond to people's messages and help them with their inquiries and stuff like that but there is a place for doing research there's a place for you know finding out this information on your own before you get into the dms so for example some people would literally come into the dms and ask what's your organization about trust me if you're in my dms without knowing what my organization is about and i don't know why you want to know like chances are that i have a million and one other things that i'll place before responding to your message that day facts for example like this company that we're talking about has a website on their website they have everything that they do but you're coming to their dms to ask them please what's your organization about that doesn't sit very well with me and i'm sure it wouldn't sit well with a lot of people who are busy who have a lot of stuff on their plate and they have to take out some time to respond to dms so if you want to know certain things like do your research fine i understand that sometimes you can't find everything that you're looking for online so you have to still you know go into the dms and ask some specific questions and stuff there have also been cases where you know people will literally come to your dms to ask you about stuff that you don't even do so for example you know how i said i was working with an international organization right and people will come into our dms and talk about how that they need a visa so like get to work or they have one person that in the other country that scammed them and they need you to help you catch, help them catch the person i'm like do you know what this organization is about you don't even have to go all the way to the website like if it's facebook or instagram trust me what's written in their bio is probably what they do so when you're coming to ask them about visas and ask it like it just doesn't follow trust me you get in, ignored when you send messages like that and here's the thing when you continue to send messages that are quite irrelevant some people would actually flag your name in their heads so the day you will send something that's relevant fine it's their job to actually look at all the dms and stuff but chances are we're all human beings like chances are that they've already flagged your name there like, this is that person that's always asking things that I don't follow please let me go on to the other things i have to do and here's the thing about doing research right like so people will actually come and make you understand that yo i know that i can do this research but i don't want to i want you to spoon feed me so there have been cases where people would ask for something you send them a link to okay this is the link to where you'll find the answers to this on the website why because it's probably like a lengthy answer that you can't begin to type and they will say yeah please just explain it like all you need to do is click on the link and the entire explanation is there and people will still say no please just tell me like I don't even know how to feel about this honestly like i understand that there's a place for you know talking to people and explaining things to people but there's a difference between somebody who needs an explanation and somebody who just doesn't want to do their research now another thing to have in mind is you do not want to send broadcast messages to people via dms 
I understand that maybe you're passionate about some things or there's a broadcast message that's going around that you feel like people should know about. But maybe you should just limit that to people who you actually have a relationship with, like individuals who you know or stuff like that. You don't have any business sending broadcast messages to um, organizations or people who you, you know, expect something from in the future. There's really no point in that, right? So please try and avoid that. It can be very annoying. And another thing that could happen is your message could also just go directly into their spam folder. And when that happens, like when you're going to send further messages to them, they already know oh, this person's in my spam folder. Chances are they're not sending me anything that makes sense. So they would likely ignore your message in the future. And you don't want that, especially if you're going to have, you know, important stuff to talk about later in life. So yeah, please take note of that. Now, the last thing I'm going to share is this. And this one was something that happened quite often and it annoyed me a lot. I know a lot of people are going to laugh at this and say, oh, it's not really a big deal and all, but trust me, guys, it's a big deal. So some people will come into the DMs and, you know, they want to ask for something and they're talking to an organization. Now, it's a different thing when you're talking to a person and you know this person's gender, right? But you're talking to an organization and then you come and you're like, good morning, sir. Please, can you blah, blah, blah. Because of professionalism, we can't tell you, oh, please, I'm not star. Like, we'll just go through with the conversation. But it gets really annoying, trust me. Some people, the entire conversation, they're ending all their sentences with sir, sir, sir. Now, I understand the Nigerian sir and ma thing and stuff like that. But trust me, there are other ways to show that you respect someone than to send them sir at the end of the message. And who told you that the person is a sir? Like, let's, let's think about it. So, yeah, I can't count the number of good morning sirs. Oh, hello, sir. Please, can you send me this, sir? God bless you, sir. I had to respond to. You can be respectful. You can be polite without, you know, those tags. They are quite unnecessary. And especially in cases where you don't know the gender of the person that you're talking to, like, you can actually do without them. All right, guys. With that, I've come to the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that these points I've shared are going to be useful for you and they will help you communicate better, you know, send the right messages to the right people and get the best responses or the best help that you possibly can from these people that you're messaging so that's the end of my video for today trust me i'm going to be coming up with lots more content on this channel in the next few weeks and i would really really appreciate it if you can keep watching thank you so so much don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video bye